What's going on? So I'm inside of a Walmart right now, and what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to grocery shop to help you hit your health and fitness goals. So first and foremost, you can see all of our fruits, vegetables, all of our produce here. We wanna make sure that we shop around the perimeter of the grocery area, and that's gonna ensure that we eat fresh, healthy foods. So we're gonna go around here, grab us a bunch of like healthy greens, fruit, so things like that. You need that. to find you some fruit that you like to eat, all right? So I love to eat blueberries and strawberries. My kids love this stuff as well. Kids like raspberries, blackberries, and stuff like that, but find you some fruit that you like to eat. It could be bananas, pineapples, all these things, but find something that really hits your palate well that you feel like you can continue to eat throughout the week. You know, your fruits and vegetables are gonna help with hormone levels, get your micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, all those types of things. But I will tell you that I love spinach. So I'll give me a bunch of organic spinach here. This stuff's phenomenal. Only five bucks, I throw it in everything I eat. I throw it in my meat, my rice, my eggs, everything looks better. Make sure they look all healthy for all you. Right, so I love avocados. It's a really good way to get your essential fats in, which is gonna help with brain health and things like that. And it's also gonna have fiber and stuff with it. So this looks like a good bunch. So we're right here by the potatoes. So let's talk potatoes right now. A lot of people shame potatoes. Potatoes are actually like amazing for you. And it's not gonna be like bread causing bloating and inflammation from gluten. So we like sweet potatoes, red potatoes, even russet potatoes sometimes. We're in the baked area, you know, the fresh bakery kind of stuff. There isn't a lot of whole things that I would recommend getting in this aisle, okay, or this area, because we want to try to eat as much fresh food as possible. And America predominantly is loaded with carbohydrates for no good reason at all. But if you do get bread and stuff, you might as well get the fresh stuff, like this stuff over here, or you got like some really good French bread loaves over here that you can make sandwiches and stuff. That'd be a really good alternative. We're but in my favorite area of the store, and that's gonna be the protein, or you get swole, no. But uh, I, love re I love red meat, it's great. It really hits my palate well. Some people like fish or chicken. Uh, red meat's my style. It's got a lot of BCAs and stuff, so get you some meat. We gotta get us some eggs. Eggs are probably the cheapest protein source you can get from the grocery store right now. And we gotta get a lot, because I eat a Use lot. Butter to cook but with your food. I like to get me some cream cheese to spread on my stuff. Gives it a little more flavor. We got zero grams of carbs. We got nine grams of protein per one cup of bone broth. Big difference here. If you got your chicken broth, you have one gram, they're both from chicken, but one gram for only chicken broth versus bone broth from chicken, nine grams of protein. This is a very easy way to sneak in protein into your food. You can dash this into like your rice and meat and stuff. You can just, I drink a hot cup of this in the morning, feels really good on my gut instead of coffee, so things like that. gotta get us some tuna. It's a really easy source of protein. It's really tasty and fresh. So we're gonna get lots of tuna because we need lots of protein. Right, okay, so we need rice because we gotta have some carbs. I'm not saying carbs are bad, so we gotta eat carbs. A good carb source is gonna be rice. It's really easy to make. You just throw it in the pot with some water and let it do its thing.